<laughs> okay, I should be live now, so um, if you go to that address, you should see a black screen. I'll get Minecraft set up. For as long as we've had Keon, uh, my husband's actually called them repeatedly and got them to give us like three free months when we first got it. And had them come out and uh, fix our connector about eight different times. Um. All right, you should see something on the stream now. And this is all inside your castle? Well, yeah, like I said, I, I was out here in the middle of the snow building this uh, giant ramparts looking thing. So, but yeah, I needed, I was asked, I was hoping you had a means to the keyboard because I need somebody to build stuff on the inside because I'm too busy being preoccupied with this outside stuff. Uh, I didn't even hit the button when I said that. Well, you probably heard me through Twitch, so... Damn, I should get one. It's actually really smooth. Yeah, that's just in 480p, though, so... I don't know if it's just me, but it's echo. It's doing a weird echo thing. Well, yeah, because it's capturing your voice, too. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. Like repeat. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get a lot of that. I, I'm I'm not getting it on my end, so that's good news. Um. At least I don't think I'm getting it. I can't hear it anyway. Is my voice echoing on that end? Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's good. I'm gonna hold on. I know what to do. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure this X Split broadcaster out, so. Which bike is we're in who speak? And it will read on your team speak through your speakers. That's too cool. It comes in really smooth. Like it almost looks like it's like sixty frames. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hear it. I think from Teamspeak. Uh, yeah, their problem with it on account of the server went down for a couple minutes and all the stuff that we did got taken off completely, like the roofing and all the lights and stuff. Damn. <laughs> I don't even know about the inside. I never got a chance to check it. I was so pissed about the rest of it. I was like, who, what the fuck? Who, who fucked with the boat? And then the people on at the time were telling me that uh, it just got messed because the server went down. 
Oh, I see. Here, I'm going to try not talking on TeamSpeak, so let me know if I'm echoing. I'm going to try to turn off the television real quick. Okay. Okay. TV's off. So, am I echoing? <laughs> wow, I keep forgetting about the lag. So you'll hear me, and then you'll hear me again later, so I'm sorry about that in advance. <laughs> oh, that's all good. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm in your, your creation area here. Let me uh, get back. Whoa. <laughs> I just like exploded in me. <laughs> That's pretty damn epic. That's my special effect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. But did you want to show off any builds while I've got this going right now? Like I said, I can just throw it up on the YouTube or whatever. Sure. Here. I'll tell for you to. It's doing a weird, like, five-second delay thing. Like, I can hear everything's conversation going twice. Yeah, you can probably <laughs> just turn down the volume on there because you'll see what's going on. <laughs> you'll, you already know what's going on. <laughs> Smile, monkeys. You're on Twitch TV. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fly around your world. What do we got? We got a giant water bong over here. This is the paraphernalia section of uh, MC Multiblock. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fly around. There's a cigarette and an ashtray. We are a clean server, so therefore all ashes must go into an ashtray. Hey Doc, what's with the giant glowstone sign with the arrow? <laughs> Are right, you ready to get to? The yeah, go ahead and TP. Out. Go ahead and TP me out. It it leads down to a uh, cavern underneath the water that also leads up and out of that doorway I made of gold bricks. Oh, that's right! I completely forgot. We went all through that cavern. Yep. Hey, tell Eminence to get into Teamspeak. Well, I can just tell him. Because I want to show off his city. His city's freaking epic. This echo thing is making me laugh so hard my stomach hurts. <laughs> <laughs> User was moved to your channel. Is that right there is so <laughs> Gavin's uh, build right there. What, this uh, stadium looking thing here? Uh, right behind you, the Gundam. Oh, yeah. Yeah, What I noticed that a lot of these are set into the ground. Let me get down and get a good view at it. Uh, pre-256. Uh, oh. See, what was that? Something about 256. What? Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's um, basically before the skybox was 256. That actually reached from skybox to bedrock. Oh wow. Yeah, there's a lot of pixel art here in the um, the uh, caged area. That's for sure. You got Nyan Cats and Mario, and there's a Starman off in the distance. I've got my render distance set really high, so you should be able to see it. But yeah, this Gundam is pretty damn epic. Do you hear this can retard? Yeah, I'm please I'm from Planet Minecraft in New Zealand and I'm like Yeah, I'm from hell and it'll be a cold day before I give you OP. <laughs> Minecraft. Yeah. Um, open up TeamSpeak here. Um who's this? Oh, you're here. Yeah, hey, Eminence, uh, somewhere along the lines, I want to show off your world. Um, you can go ahead and check out what I'm streaming now. Uh, Twitch.tv slash LuminaryW. Cool. Hopefully my chat isn't on your uh, Twitch. Yeah, all the ev everything's here. Damn. <laughs> I figured I'd show, uh, since I've already got a streaming, because I wanted to show the uh, large ramparts I was making that you dropped diamonds on for some reason. I have no idea. It but, is. Right. <laughs> you are a mean ad So, what else would you like to show off? Wait, 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 wait. Before, before anyone says anything, how do I fix this echo thing? Just turn off the Twitch TV uh, volume. Just slide the volume down. Okay. Yeah, it's much different if you weren't in the in in TeamSpeak. <laughs> okay, good. No echo things. I even turned my TV all the way down because my husband had it up to like fifty, and I thought that was the problem. <laughs> I'm gonna do some flying around here because there's lots of cool stuff in the creative area here. Yeah, if you want to stream town, I'll port you there. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look Later at your town. Or whatever. Let's go ahead and take a look at your town. The problem is I'm going to at least uh, have my game mode changed so I can fly around. And you can just change it back. Yeah. Just in case you don't know, plus one this video. <laughs> Twitter and Facebook emblems and all kinds of neat stuff here. Great little assets. <laughs> I put that there so long ago. I was like on the start of the server. You got this neat little town looking thing over here. Yeah, that was a, a Tigger. Or not Tigger, uh Oh no, he had Tony the Tiger, that's what I wanted to call him Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his skin was a Tony the Tiger, which is cool. That's all I really remember. That's what someone should build, Tony the Tiger with a cereal box. Hmm. Or maybe just a cereal box with Tony really the Tiger cool. on it. Yeah, but he's got to have his, his finger pointing up with a bowl of cereal in the other hand saying, Tiger, great! Oh man, I about I cried when I heard that guy died. He died? Yep. Why do you think you never hear him say they're great anymore? I don't know. I don't really watch those commercials anymore. I didn't know he died. What'd he die from? Uh, maybe old age as far as I know. I know he's been doing it for a while. Huh. Hey, did, um, uh, did, uh, I'm not going to say Patters, Plotters, what, what is his name? Pooters. What? Is, what? <laughs> I can't remember his name. I'm sorry. Hooters. <laughs> I don't think That's it was Hooters. <laughs> uh, let me think. Uh, gosh, I was hanging out with him for a bit. He's been a real big help to me. I can't. I wish I could remember his name. It's been a while. Uh, either way, he was uh, doing his. You've got a friend in me. Um, music box thing. Did he ever finish that, or is he still working on it? Oh, puddles. Yeah, Puddles, that guy. I think he's working on it. Uh, here's a tribute to Yogg's cast over here, I think. Is this Simon? 
<laughs> so legs as it looks like. He missed another S. I missed another what? No, on that uh that sign that says Queen Alexis, there's three S's in there. Maybe he ran out of yeah, space. No, there's some pretty epic bills just in this little creative area here. Have you taken any of these and uh, put them over into like the PvP area or um, or the um, in the survival area? Does... Survival area? No. No. No, these were all built for the creative at the moment. They didn't really want to request to maybe possibly put it in the, uh, any of the other worlds. Which is, I like this one. This is a full-fledged uh, prison. Oh, is that what this is? So it's got rooms and everything? Yeah, it's got rooms and everything. Oh, yeah, dude. It's got the whole nine-yard rec room and everything. Well, at least the door's open so I can get in. That's kind of odd for a prison, but I'm not going to complain at the moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I was going to ask you a while back, but I just didn't remember to. Um, when you guys put people in jail, is it here or is it in a whole bunch of different spaces? Because I always see people dying because they swam in lava or dying because they were killed by an ender dragon or something. Yeah, we have uh, multiple jails. One, We have one there. There's uh, several dragons that you would be right, like you'd spawn in and there's just nothing but... Dragons flying around you, and so they eat you as soon as they possibly see you. And, uh, yeah, there's a, another one in We PvP. have a few cools. Yeah, one PvP is mainly our lava pit, uh, then the torture chamber in EVK's land. Torture chamber? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's got a suffocation in wall, a drowned lava, uh, arrows, and poison. Oh wow, these bunk beds and shitters. This is definitely a prison. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, a, it's one of the best built prisons that I've seen. Oh yeah, this is definitely good. Get this, is there anything on the inside of this Aztec temple over here? Oh wow, it looks like someone's cute. Did they? Yeah, it got a little bit of the box and looks like they took doors. Oh, and they use redstone as blood. That's ingenious. Yeah. Let's see I think mine might be lagging a little bit. My, my screen still shows you in the prison. Oh, yeah, the, the stream will be I feel like, like damn near 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Yeah, it'll do that. Well, it was... It was keeping up pretty good for a minute there, and then I guess Keon doesn't want to be nice. Oh, you should be fine. I'm looking at my bitrate right now, and it says I'm sitting at what? Um, it's doing just what it needs to do. I'm able to talk. Nothing's really cracking. I might get a few uh, frame skips, though. But, like, it says it's dropped 4,622 frames, but I have sent out 23,000, so you shouldn't have noticed anything. Well, right now you're looking at a temple, and you just got done looking on the inside of it. Oh, really? And now it's just pointing straight at it. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it might it might be my my end that's doing it. Maybe who knows? What are you guys can what you're watching? Yeah, uh, Twitch TV da uh, slash Luminary W. It should still be in a lounge chat. Okay, cool. Yeah, right now I believe you two are the only two looking at it. So, a giant monster emblem. I don't see the link here. Hold on. There, I'll, I'll put it back in the... Um, That's it. 
All right, that sister should be coming in here. Man, I love Windows 7. I'm hit because I have my internet half screen, so I hit the minimize button on Minecraft and I automatically resized it to set it beside it. <laughs> hey, my sister's here. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, just teleport me around and, and show off stuff, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I've ever laughed that hard in my life unless I was high. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Well, before it was in this weird echo thing where it would take like five seconds after what we got done saying what we were saying, it'd play the whole thing back. And that was because <sighs> it's a uh, switch. <clears throat> And it was making everybody laugh, and I was laughing so hard, stomach was starting to hurt, and I, the last time I remember laughing like that, I either had the hiccup, and I was really little, and I couldn't stop laughing, or uh, I was really like, <laughs> and I heard something funny, and I don't remember what it was, but I just could not stop laughing for like three hours straight. Yeah, there, there's a delay for me, but I'm downloading the game, so that could be the reason. Yeah, that's pretty tight. Twitch TV is pretty sick, like a live stream. Yeah, I gotta mute that. <laughs> it's definitely a day. Man, I hope that monkey guy log back on. I wanna mess with him some more. I want him to grief so I can jail his ass and then kill him over and over. Yeah, I'm kinda curious what these uh jail worlds look like, but I really don't wanna go to jail. No. Well, um, well, I, I just want to see what the dragons look like because it's, I, it's I, easy to jail and unjail one, honestly. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, but I'm not. I'm not probably... really able to play because my my husband broke my keyboard. So. Well, you could just let him. What happened to your keyboard? My husband had a temper tantrum, like a big one and he was trying to look for a song and he was trying to type and the keyboard connection is messed up and it's been messed up but last night it was like really really messed up to where nothing worked and uh he was getting so pissed off that he slammed his fingers down on the keys on the keyboard a couple times he uh threw the keyboard against the wall Jiggled. <laughs> yeah, shit. he jiggled the connection to the back of the keyboard a couple times. He jiggled the connection to the back of the tower. And then that's probably about the time that he got royally ticked off and just slammed it on the corner of the desk and broke it in half. Did you, ask if, did you say you mad, bro? No, I knew he was mad. I knew it from the minute he started yelling, what the fuck, and I kept telling right. him, uh, our son is sleeping, keep your voice down, and don't break anything, and that's when he decided to say, fuck you, and shut up, I know what I'm doing, and he knew what he was doing. He didn't fix it, though. <laughs> Ooh, I found grief 68 hours ago. You want to see a rollback? Me? Sure. And this guy's jailed. Okay, so when he locks but I don't in, really know how I'm going to be able to see it. 
Unless um, you stream it to me. <laughs> well, yeah. Where's uh, where's the dude here? Should I, should I port him here to show him how we roll back stuff? Sure. I'm just giving him a view of all the other stuff that's on there. All the signs. I already did it. Cool. Well, see, so you've teleported me around a few times. Yeah, I want to show you how you fix grief. I'm at a grief spot right now. These holes that's been, been punched? Yep. Alright, so how do you fix grief? <laughs> I tell it to you, my face was on camera. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. I looked at you. That is too cool. I like how smooth it is. Yeah, like I said, once I hit Austin, I can actually do this in 720p, get some uh, Terraria, whatever. Always down for anything. Oh, yeah. And we're performing the rollback. There we go. Is that wool in the... Yep, it makes it look like a hint. Like a diamond ore. Yeah, jail system. How does the jail system work? I'm, I'm still confused on that. I know they go to the EBK jail, I believe. Well, it's jail of. It's a jail of choosing. My favorite jail to send people is PvP. So. Yeah, I'll teleport to the PvP jail. Oh, is, it, is this it under here? Yeah. You get, they get that little platform to stand on. <laughs> and then if you come over here, you can actually uh, shoot them with arrows for their punishment. And there's little holes. Yeah. The gate there, you can actually um, you can actually shoot people through it with arrows, which I like to do. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Oh, that's interesting. What are all these switches here for? Uh, one switch is that platform down, and the other switch activates. Um, arrow shooters that fling out arrows. Go ahead and check them out. The right does the arrows. <laughs> yeah, give it a second video. It hasn't caught up to it yet. I'll get closer so you can see, so show the arrows. Oh, okay, yeah, hold on. Raise the platform back up. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. There it's we my go. My favorite jail is simple too. Yeah, this is pretty darn cool. I like it a lot. <laughs> See all the arrows. That's awesome. <laughs> Griefing gets you here. The PVP jail. It says push the button and get jailed. 
Which button is that? I'm not sure. Hmm. This is interesting. Like I said, I only know about the one in the EBK uh, faction house. That reminds me, you've got a ton of mods going on on your server right now. What else have you... What, all, what are all the mods that you have going? I think Jack has, what, 40 to 60 different plugins. Yeah, because I know that uh, some of them are listed like Flight Dragons and... MC MMO and and factions and some other things. At least those are the ones that are publicly listed. Oh, Soul Sand. Okay. He only okay. gave six blocks. So, you know. I gave him like, I don't know, a couple days in jail. <coughs> if you do some major grief, it you can, like, normally if you grief a little bit, we'll give you a warning. You know, a few days in jail, depending on how many blocks. If it's a lot of blocks, you'll get, you know, five to ten days. If it's over a thousand blocks, you know, you get banned. Oh, wow. What if yeah, it's your own? Rolled. What if it's your own creation? Well, no, we we figure it out because it will say block placed. So, like, if you're half done with something, I can tell if you you're working on it because it won't say block removed. When you grief something, it says block removed. Oh, okay. So yeah, I can tell if placed or removed a block. Yeah, I tried this mob PvP. That was insane. It was me against like a bazillion zombies and Oh, I know. <laughs> Isn't it fun cuz you get like the more you kill, the more uh like items you get, like health potions and stuff, but it's hard. Oh yeah, it got to the point where I couldn't kill. I just ran around in a circle. It was like, "Now starting wave 5." And I'm like, "I'm not going to live through this." <laughs> So did you ever get your um, your hosting uh, sorted out? I think Kevin was telling me that uh, that uh, you found something. Oh yeah, Eminence. Uh, go ahead and transport me out to your uh, your town. Sure. Like I said, that's probably one of the one of the neatest builds I've seen on this server. Oh no, I peed you to the correct place. Never mind. I was like, because <laughs> it didn't show right away up on the video. Yeah, yeah. There's 
between five and thirty seconds worth of uh, latency between what you what you, what you're saying and what you actually hear. But yeah, here's a uh, marketplace with the tower. Oh, actually, you know, what? it'd be cool if we could do aerial view. Let me port you to the top of this tower. Okay. And you can you look have a down lot on of everything. Spiders. They keep the, ma the the lawn mode. I see that. <laughs> Just don't fall off. <laughs> Here, hold on. I don't think I have anything on me at the moment. I dumped it all in my um, in my chests. How do you get them not attacking? I know in creative mode, everything is pretty much neutral unless you punch it. But this is survival, so I have no idea what eminence is running. Are you in creative? Uh, no, I'm. I'm not in creative. I'm actually in, in. Um... Oh, well, let me let me put you in creative because I, I think you can fly then. Yeah, I can definitely fly if I'm. If my game mode's changed. I like how the clouds are just kind of just just kind of rolling by. <laughs> Kind of makes you want to see if you ride on the clouds. There we go. Now I'm all floaty. There you go. Now you can fly around and check everything out. It looks a lot better aerial. Because <laughs> the buildings are so tall, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah, whenever I was helping you with that mine entrance. Did you ever finish up that mine entrance? Yep. I could show it to you. Yeah, I remember having to go I through that. I built a build on top of it. It's this building near the, uh, the south here. And this one here? I think it's south. Hey, I have a question, because Zane and I were both looking at something, like, a while back before we got on this whole TeamSpeak internet thing. You can take thing. this mic down, if you get in it and push the button. What is it that you have to know to get that little world globe map up in the right corner of the screen? This first level is because it's bedrock, but um, if you follow this light path, you can go up to the next level. Oh, or maybe it's just all level. illuminated for you. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it is. Cool. We have a random minecart just sitting here. Yeah, they well they did up to each floor. See how I designed each floor <laughs> and made a cavern. Yeah, this is rather interesting. Yeah, these will be cords that you can mine down. And you have an Enderman. Hello, Enderman. Hey. Maybe it happened with the server reset. Anyways, is what you could do is you could sit on this minecart and it'd roll you right up to the next level. Oh, that's pretty slick. But yeah, apparently. And then you could go back down if you wanted. And then I was gonna design one that went all the way up. I know with some fancy switch work, you can actually uh. You know, have a minecart distribution center, and it'll the minecart will come to whatever floor you're on, and you can pretty much go from there. Or you could just have a constant round of minecarts that um, that come and reset whenever. And this, and this lead, this side leads up to my house here. If you wanna check it out, the inside. This is the only house I have uh, the inside done so far.
glass fireplace is always nice. Why is there a door? Oh wow, it shoots meat at you. Fill that dispenser from the door. And when you push the button, it shoots food out at you. Awesome. See the door open? <laughs> <laughs> So you just have a few different varieties of foods in here? Yep. That's a golden apple. And then we can go out this way. I'll turn it back today. Actually at night it looks pretty cool illuminated because I got all the street lamps. take a look on the outside of your house because I think that's what uh, really sparked my interest in your town was just the amount of stylizing that you did in, in just your structures. There's definitely nothing yeah, else like it on the like server. Medieval theme. you ever want this to become a fully functional um, uh, town? Well, I, I moved over to PvP. Um, but yeah. Uh, you know, if some phone survival want to hang out here, all, all these houses are for rent. This is kind of like a diplomatic building. The inside's pretty cool. And I got one uh, house to show you that's real cool too. This would be like, uh, you know, a meeting area, so to speak. Let me out! Oh, whoops, sorry. I know all the doors are privately locked right now. Yeah, I know you're going to set the permissions on it. I haven't figured out the permission settings yet. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. All the creepers in TNT have had their teeth pulled. Yep. See, I don't really... They can't hurt you or blow up blocks. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that. That was part, you know, half the suspense when it came to Minecraft. Never knew what was going to go up oh, in flames. This, ro this roadway leads to the biggest building I've built down through here. This leads to a... Uh, in NPC town actually also so um, I built a few houses there and they actually grew they grew yeah they had little kids running around and then iron golem spawned I think they're stuck all I heard them doing was opening and closing this door yeah sometimes they glitch out a little well it was nighttime so they were inside but now they're gonna run out and run around. They're all coming out. See yeah. them all floor, flooding out the... <laughs> what is that? See, it's, a, it's an iron golem. Every, if, so many, if you get so many town members, it spawns an iron golem. And what an iron golem does is he actually protects the town at night. He kills zombies and stuff. It's cool. He's strong, man. Like, he will literally kick your ass. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and he, he hits these zombies and he just blows them away. But yeah, this is another building I built here. And I did kind of a... I, I didn't all the way design the inside yet, but the ceiling's pretty cool. Oh wow, the testificates using this too? Yep, they run in. They'll run in. Here, let me get rid of the spider.
to see the see the ceiling the design there Gavin helped me with that yeah chandeliers are never my strong point this is actually really nice And then, actually, I made stairs up to the ship, but this tower, you can uh, go to the top of it. And kind of look out and see see everything. It's kind of a long, tedious path, but... I'm just surprised to see so many testificates. I don't think I've ever seen so many in one place. What's that? Because I don't think I've ever seen so many testificates in one place. Yeah. It takes me a while to build it because I constantly like change it. Um, but uh, once I do it, it looks good. I kind of try to add some flair and make it look unique. Oh yeah, have you uh, added on to the NPC buildings at all? Yeah, I, I built a few of them, and like I said, that's when the town started growing. Oh, wow. I built it to style that I already were, so it didn't look, like, weird. So it would blend in with the rest of the town. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Is this a church? Did you build this church? Yeah, yep, this is, this is a stone church that guy added. Here's another iron one. Oh, it's cool. Um, sometimes they will hand you a flower because they're friendly. They'll hand you a, a rose. Let's see if we can get one to do one. Here's one of them. He's, oh, there's two right here. Looks like they're stuck in the water. I've seen him do it before, though. See, I think I've ne I've never run into an NPC village at all. I think that zombie wants out of your uh, your house there. <laughs> oh, here, let's let's have him chase me. And <laughs> oh, it's daytime. He's gonna burn. But like, oh, you want to see something cool at nighttime? The villagers go inside. Here, let me turn it to night. They'll start flooding the house, and then the golems will stay out and protect the area. They kill zombies. We'll lead one over here, I'll show you. I'll show you a golem killing the zombie. <laughs> Uppercut! <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> like, straight walked over there and Falcon punched him in the face. Yep. That's that's what they do. They sit there and they'll protect the town. It's funny. We lead another one up. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Oh, he one shot at him. Now he's going after the spider. Oh, damn! He one shot the spider too. I wonder if Notch is going to put in the ability to actually summon these things as protectors. Because it, this, What's that? Well, I'm looking at these things. These these guys would be a great anti-griefing device. You know, as far as PvP is concerned. Oh yeah. I don't think I don't think we could spawn golems, but no, that would be pretty cool if you could set them up to uh, attack other people that aren't in your faction. That'd be a great plug-in. I think so. I'm sorry. I, I feel so bad for the creepers when they explode now. I used to I used to run like hell. Now I look at them like I don't know. Yeah, see these golems <coughs> running around. And yeah, they go per how many town people you have. So the more town people, the more golems that spawn. I see a total of like what five or six in this one town alone. I mean, this is almost like a little little city. Well, yeah. I I like I said I added on the goal. I was kind of wanted to 
see how I built the buildings down here? I was going to eventually run it down into the city and have them running around my city, kind of. I thought that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be pretty darn epic. It'd make the city kind of look active. Oh, well. Oops. Wow. One, two, three, four golems. that account in that little area. There's probably some more though. One, two, three, four. Yep, there's five. One's sitting in the lake. He might be stuck in there. Oh, check this out. Right here at the top on the flag. He's kind of chilling out up here like, hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> Knocked him off. But yeah, you definitely have some really nice structures here in uh, in survival. So I mean, all this stuff isn't like you put on creative mode and built this stuff. You actually dug this stuff out and built, right? Yeah, no, I didn't have creative mode when I built all this. I was able to fly, but I didn't have creative mode. This was all supplies I gathered. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. I mean, jeez. Oh, here, uh, you want to check out? I haven't totally finished the inside of this, but it, I did some. It looks kind of neat. What, where are you? Uh, over here at the entrance on this side. Oh, there you are. Can you see me? Yeah, I see you. Hey, yo, I'm getting tired. I'm going to finish up the housework and go to bed. All right, Doc. All right. If you see me on tomorrow, that means I got my keyboard. If not, then... Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> see, I was thinking about... The um, reason why I brought this up, I kind of wanted to um, to live stream a build of some sort. I just don't know what you guys would want to build. A lot of folks are stuck in PvP. I mean, how epic are the PvP battles? Um, Sounds pretty, pretty cool. cool. But there's definitely some major faction-to-faction -faction fights. In this I haven't quite finished, but I'm gonna build uh build it so you can go up in this tower. Oh <laughs> the spider straight dropped from the ceiling is like, I'm gonna get you. Later, y'all. See you later, Doc. Night. Buddy disconnected from your channel. Chad, yeah, then you build up here. But I actually made a, uh, a path so you can go in that little tower I have on the side. Yeah, where where is that? It's right here. See me up there? Yeah, I was going to ask you about that little that tower. Little what were you going to use it for? Just like a small study laboratory type of th deal or what? Yeah, it's just kind of uh, a neat little add-on I thought would look cool. You know, I might put some bookcases in here or but but she yeah, had built ones all the way up to the top You need to do something about your lighting, though. There seems to be monsters spawning everywhere. Yeah. It's, I, like, I need to put torches on the ceiling and stuff. Any area that's dark. Like I said, this is, yeah, I haven't finished it yet. Because what I do is I start so many different projects that <laughs> it's like, okay, now i got to do this, and then instead I'll build another house or something, you know. See, what's with the uh, hanging cages here? Oh, it's just kind of adding on to the like medieval theme. 
You know what, actually, it'd be kind of neat. We were talking about this the other day to just set it up as a jail so they can be stuck in there and everyone can look at them. Yes, that's what I was thinking, too. I was looking at that. I was like, you know, that would make a perfect jail. Because, yeah, you could sit there and, and shoot them through the cages with arrows. Yeah. Well, the other option is you can always jail them in the nether, too, so... Yeah, we got we got so many jails. It's kind of fun. I guess I'm my favorite with <coughs> P, but the uh, the Nether one's also pretty awesome. The other thing is you can't can't go there and kill people because <laughs> you'll die too. Oh wow! Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. And, the, and this day I had planned on, um, I started digging it out a little bit, and um, I was actually going to have build a big boat out here, like a pirate ship, you know, to go along with the kind of medieval theme. Yeah, I have a feeling one of, the, one of the dogs is about to bark, so be ready for lots of barking. Oh, no problem. I can't wait till I don't have that problem again. Yeah, some of these buildings are, um, the, the basic design was kind of like from screenshots of, of various buildings, but I added all my own different flair. I just looked at the structure, you know. Yeah. But this marketplace was uh, totally my own design. I did all of it. This tower, whew, I rebuilt it three times. <laughs> Tell, until I liked it. it. It was hard to design it and figure it out. I can imagine, because you're doing circles in, <laughs> in Minecraft. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, it's it was tedious. You know, like, all the little steps. and I put different color bricks in there, too. See the mossy and cracked. and You know, I need to add cobwebs around on this building I just thought about that because all my other buildings I you know have the spider webs and stuff yeah you also have a lot here for rent I think is that what this is yep these, these are houses for rent we can go in them if you want I haven't I haven't finished like I didn't do any furniture and whatever. I figured if people wanted to, they could uh, do that. See, I, I'm I'm horrible at furnishing. I like building houses, but I am horrible at furnishing. Period. Yeah, not that good either. Um, like I said, Alexis furnished the inside of my house. So, but yeah, this is just a little building. I got put a fireplace. There's it's three levels. I got a little fireplace there. And then there's a little deck that leads out. Oh, okay. I was sitting there thinking, why are there pistons here? And it's because it's a table. Yeah. Yeah, I see. You got like yeah, little cobwebs little up here in the corner. Deck. No, I was looking at these empty lots over here. That's what I was saying. Are these just lots for rent for people to build in your city, or are they just? Actually, I was gonna, I was gonna no, because I want the theme to say same. So I planned on building buildings out here and just renting the buildings out, because I, I want the theme to stay the same. Well, you know. Well, here's an idea. How about a graveyard? That would be kind of neat. Yeah, I mean, you go. I wonder where I'd put it. Well, I don't know. We've got two lots here. But well, you know what? That would be a good spot. I could flatten this out, stick a graveyard right here. 
because graveyards are kind of a little bit on the outskirts of town, just a little bit, you know. You usually don't see one in the middle of town, but just on the edge. <laughs> Unless the town's like grown around the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. That could be kind of a neat theme, also. Oh man, nothing says happiness like cherry limeade. But yeah, that's what I did with these. I kind of did a unique thing because I didn't want people digging all the way down. Is uh, It goes down about 10 spaces and you run into bedrock. Here, I'll show you right here. Oh, wait. See the bedrock walls? Yeah, I see that. So you have the ability to place bedrock? Whoops, I broke that bedrock. <laughs> I could replace it. But see, that'd be the bedrock floor. Like, if you go down, here's how I designed it. You can kind of go down and see it. But you can have a basement. I just didn't want people digging mines into other people's houses and stuff, so... Well, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, this, this bedrock yeah, flooring could. actually reminds me a little bit of the uh, mob spawner I had to... Our uh, <clears throat> mob grinder I had to build in one of my buddy's servers because I would I had to dig it out. I dug out this insanely large, like hundred by hundred space, or was it sixty nice. by sixty? But anyway, it was it was insane. It was like hundred by hundred by like seven or eight. So how do you charge rent though? I mean, oh, I just pretty much. Uh, just, you know, rent, sell the house and rent it out, kind of. I, you know, like, I have plenty of money, so, but it's, it's, they don't own it, you know, I mean, if, if soon, if they ever left, then I would take the house back. <laughs> but they can decorate the inside, I just, they just can't break any blocks. I mean, they can build a basement if they want. Yeah, which but leaves did you use? I, so far. I accidentally punched a hole in your uh, leaf barrier here. Oh, no problem. Um, it's the... I think it's this one. Hold on, let me check. Got it. <coughs> so we don't have to deal with these. Keep forgetting uh, my arrows change when I have my bow and do a left click. Really? Yeah, I can select all the different types of arrows that are available. Like, uh, people can use it. Um, they just have to have the stuff in their inventory. And then when they fire the arrow, it do random things. Like, this is an explosive arrow. Here, I'll show you. Nice. Is that, um, is that one of the mods? Yep. Yep, that's one of the mods. You can do a slow arrow, which will slow the mob. There's a net arrow, which throws a net and binds people in cobwebs. A teleport arrow. Yeah, that's pretty slick. And the ultimate is a doom bringer, which will instantly kill anyone around you. And it poisons you, but... I think it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. It's like the ultimate killer. The 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 supplies for it are crazy, though. Oh, well, yeah, something that over here. I'll fire another one. <laughs> here, let me fire it on this flat piece so you can see, like, the radius it does. Okay. Over here. It's, it's pretty neat. Let me know when you're ready. Fire away.
awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. But see how I'm poisoned? See the little green bubbles coming on me? Oh yeah. If I actually if I actually went out of god mode, it would start hurting me. And you can just do the regular little lightning arrow, which fires one bullet of lightning. That one works pretty good, because you don't have to worry about it. Big area effect. Right. How does that work in PvP? You see lots of lightning bolts in PvP? Not really. Um, I don't think people have caught on to it quite yet. Um, you know... <coughs> anyway, did you see my uh the large ramparts I was I was working on? Mm-mm. Let's put out the fire in your town here before we leave. I don't want to feel responsible for anything that might burn away. <laughs> well, actually, we have to set up so fire doesn't spread. Well, I think he did. Uh, Notch did some changes where it doesn't spread anyway, but just in case. But we're gonna have a. Um, I think in the RPG world, Jack was talking about. It's gonna be kind of like real um, a survival based world where uh, you know the creepers will blow up and they'll actually destroy blocks and kill you and fire will spread and it's going to be more realistic well, that's pretty once we get it set up that'll be kind of neat you know it'll be kind of a no holds barred too like uh, PvP and stuff I don't know if he said we could grief or not yet, but I think he was thinking about it. Yeah, go ahead and TP out to me. Yeah, see, I know you came out here once oh, while I was working on it. Cool. Yeah, I was just finding out what I'm going to put on the inside here. Wow, man. Yeah, this is nice. That it appears that there's like caverns flowing underneath here too. I was able to go in one and come out the other side. I had no idea it was there. The thing, the idea was is to um, make it, make it, you know, into the land as opposed to flattening an area out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Kind of like Great Wallish. Yeah, kind of. But I didn't know what to put in here. I didn't know how much of the area should be taken up by a palace. You know, in a stable off to the side, uh, maybe a training grounds. And then on the outside here, maybe outside the gates, you know, put the farmlands and everything else. Yeah, right. If you want lava around it, let me know. See, I don't know what I'd use lava for. I mean, so far, I the only thing I needed it for was, like, a cobblestone generator, and that was it. Right. I'm just thinking if you wanted to build a moat around this. Oh, a lava moat? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, uh, actually, I was thinking about a whole dock section, so there's going to be two entrances, I should oh, say. Oh, yeah, you got a bunch of water out here. This is sweet. Yeah, so I was going to like open up this other side over here, but again, it comes down to placement of everything else, so mm, I can always put it in the back. I like how you did bottom and uh, cobblestone. Yeah, um... I didn't know what else to do, honestly, but I, I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know, I should probably do the rough end on the bottom and then put it, all the structure stuff on top to make it look like it's on yeah, something. No. I like that. But I was going to look for help um, as soon as I finish up these uh, walls and placing the structures on the inside. I 
uh, I, did, I just all my all my all my energy has been sunk into this. <laughs> yeah, I just um, what world is this? This is uh, creative. Gosh. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, this would have taken me forever if I was in survival. <laughs> Not too long if you're dedicated. Yeah, this is true. I probably used about this many bricks. Yeah, there's a lot here. I think, um... What was I at? How do I find out how many bricks I've placed? Slash rank. What's that? Slash rank. Or slash rank. Slash rank? Ranks, yeah. Uh, it says I destroyed 49 and placed 80, but I know. Yeah, I got reset again. Yeah, I saw that. So I think I was... Oh, it shows you, you placed, what, 6,672. That, yeah, that probably is about right. Yeah, but that was just today. <laughs> this is in process of being built. Yeah, because I just raised the walls and put everything in. Because there's there's a, there's a, there's a lot in here, and I haven't put in doors, but you can actually walk on the inside. Oh, cool. Yeah, I was thinking about putting in like you know bunkers and barracks and whatnot, guard stations, twisty stairs, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hey, you want to see any way of placing uh, some torches? Sure. Oh, with the uh, fence and put it on top? cool part is these rounded out areas if you put it on one it like connects both sides yeah oh yeah I, I've got all the bricks like out That's possible. Did you see? Did you see what I did on the inside of the boat? Assuming it didn't roll back all the way. Yeah, it's here. Go ahead and TP out to me. Yeah, actually, um, if you uh, if you break on the inside here, if you have glowstone ready, that is, there's actually a switch hidden in there. Uh, 
Uh, it just powers up the uh, the redstone uh, blocks on the outside. Should yes. Well, yeah. Once they're placed on. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, um, uh, excuse me. Yes, so uh, you can power it up with just about anything. Buttons, whatever. Yeah, it sucks too because the server rollback, um, Doc had this all decorated out. I mean, it looked really nice. Yeah, she had like the hookah bongs and everything else, you know, everywhere. Yeah, she had like the bookshelves. We went upstairs and, um, we, uh, Oh, yeah, I forgot these doors are kind of buggy. Anyway, um... Yeah, she, uh... <laughs> she wanted sponge and pink and purple wool, so we made that happen. She's like, it has to be me, and if I do that, then... Pretty much. I wanted to make a floating hookah bar, and that's what I did. Got these four giant red pontoons on the bottom. Actually, this is pretty much an experiment and decoration for me with just random bullshit. So I got like trap doors and everything else. And I like that the server locks the doors so people can't just like flip them down and up. Oh, that's pretty slick. Yeah, I ended up doing that with uh, puddles at uh, my house in survival. House in survival isn't much. It's literally a survival house. It's, it's a box. But puddles made it look nice. be handy. Yeah, Doc was like, I don't know what to build. I'm like, build a hookah bar. Yeah, this is uh this is her little area. Oh yeah, she she made it she made it clear that that is clear wrap. <laughs> oh yeah have you been having any problems with the warp or with the uh, home function actually um teleporting you 
out of the world as far as like dropping you off in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I had a few homes set up uh, just for easy fast travel and it would drop me off the world. I don't even know how to set up warps. I don't know, I kind of just keep the warps to the creative. Did you see my structures uh, out here in, um, creative, in the creative area? Since they have like five different colors of wood, I wanted to play around with it. Kind of got the glowstone in here as a temporary thing. Yeah, some folks came through here and put some stuff in, which I'm okay with. I really didn't care. I left it unfurnished. I told uh, Alexis to furnish it, and she still hasn't. Yeah, did she ever uh, finish up that huge scary thing she has out in the middle of nowhere? Oh wow, that's pretty slick, alright. I have my floating island that I did. The vines are almost hitting the ground, though. It's going to be kind of horrible once the vines do hit the ground. Yeah, they'll grow until they hit something. Pretty much, I had to break the uh, one by one column rule just to get it up there. But yeah, I, but the trees I grew, I grew up there. I believe uh, Epic Bond actually said, Oh, look, it's a water slide, so you can actually ride this all the way down. I'm like, right here. Yeah, Puddles is doing stuff I never even thought of doing, like uh, the giant uh, LED display. <laughs> um, that's a bit too dork for me. I like doing weird stuff. Like, uh, if you ever, I can get you the link. I actually built an entire chest storage facility that um, that runs off of uh, mine carts with chests. Yeah, I don't have it anymore, but it's a good thing I got it on video. Yeah, I got that. I showed off a mob spawner. I showed off a bridge that, um, that not necessarily built itself, but uh, it looks like a wooden bridge with no uh, no bridge in it, like right in the middle. And what happens is when you're standing on the pressure plate, you hear this click clack come all the way down until the bridge is completely formed. So it's all all the way down, and you have to sprint across it. Was there? Oh no no no! These this is this is a piston and a half wooden brick. I uh, yeah, he showed it to me already. Um, it's just out outside the EBK. Yeah, that's one of the things that Puddle showed me. Well, 
honestly, if you just learn like, you know, the you know just if you just learn the different gates, you should be fine. Nothing sophisticated like XANs and XORs or XNANs and XNORs. Just you know what not and is is. Uh, yeah, I don't either. <clears throat> I know what and and or is. Like, do something if this and this is available, or do something if this or this is available. It's Maybe he's making a, uh, a circus. It looks like he's, you know, like setting up for an arena. But he, he probably he probably stopped once he found out he can't use the eggs. And now they don't. Yeah, you see, I'm like right clicking like crazy and I'm just not spawning anything. Alright. Yes, yeah, so I don't think there's any creatures here at all. This world might actually be set up with no creatures. Oh, wow. I kind of wonder if he thought this through, though. You know, like, oh, I'm gonna put all this stuff in here, built it all, and found that he can't, he couldn't. Yeah, I'm gonna mute my microphone. I'm gonna AFK for a minute. I got a dog to strangle.
I think the big problem is going to be is if uh, you might want to lock these structures off because somebody can just let them loose. Not that they can't be killed. <laughs> Another map. Wait, where you at? Yeah, they get real tiny. You should probably place random doors on there. Some of the zombies will find them and just start. There we go. Now they're beating on them. Do they destroy the doors? Or do they just beat them open? Go ahead and warp to me real quick. Well, this is one of the projects that Alexis wanted to work on. She was like, I want to make a huge structure. And I was like, well, let's make a small one and then we'll blow it up. Yeah, so this is this is five times the size of what we have here. So it's like five by five by five for each one brick. Yeah, so it's it's set up just like the other place. Yeah, 
I got to look at us starting to count pixels, and I believe that in order to do it, like, if you wanted to, like, play with the different colors of wood and whatnot, it would have to be, like, 16 times, which would be freaking horrendous. But yeah, I set most of this by hand. I think she world edited some planks in. But other than that, she wasn't here for most of it, so I I placed all these by hand. What's that? This isn't creative. Speaking of, I you should probably set me back to game modes. Um, <laughs> hold on. Yeah, um... Right, so I just went back to Survival World so you can set me back to where it needs to be. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm throwing out all my stuff, hold on. That way there's no cheating. Yeah, I got my experience part back and everything. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and get the stream here and I'll upload it to my YouTube channel.